What's up, guys? Back at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. A little bit before opening. Figured I'd hop over to uh, the Tierra booth real quick. Hopefully, we'll be able to get some of these boats in the near future. But their booth is pretty nice, too. Just like the Pursuit booth. Big. Have just about everything represented. This is one of my favorites so far. 38 LS. Most of these boats are powered by Mercury here. They do some Yamaha stuff, but... We'll see, 2600. But getting on this 38 LS, gorgeous boat. Fit and finish is just as good, if not better, than the Pursuits. The materials they use are awesome. See those lights there for the uh, whatever Mercury calls their joystick. Got to educate myself. And then this whole settee can spin around on this pedestal so it can be aft facing, or if you turn it the way it is now. Have a big entertainment area, teak table, or quarry and surface with drink holders. Boats are really nice. Got storage everywhere on them. And the upholstery's top notch. Uh, these are storage boxes. Since the boat really isn't fishable, they don't put rod holders or anything on them. Um, hopefully that'll change in the future. Put a little bit of fishability in them at least. You can see this whole galley area, grill sink, storage drawers. I gotta do that with two hands. You got a side access door. You can see it's almost like a side console. You got this walk around access to the hard top. And then the helm, again, gorgeous. AC, nice upholstery. Some specs on the boat, the 38, MSRP 876-920 is equipped, and there's some specs on it, 38-1, 12-6 beam. Then we got some twin 16s it looks like. On the dash, nice flush dash, Boca switches backlit. All the Mercury controls, Skyhook, that's what they call it. So when you turn on the Skyhook, those lights in the back light up so people know it's engaged because they don't swim near the props. And down in the berthing. Nice sleeper. Once you go up to the 43, it actually has a midship too. So this is more for like two adults. For that one you can get maybe four adults. Hopefully I'll have some time at the show to go through that. But as you can see, the treatments on the boat are phenomenal. Little storage compartments everywhere. Microwave in here. And then forward on the boat. separate entertaining area very cool stuff hopefully we'll be picking up the franchise in the near future all right we're, they aren't able to get us too many boats right now so we'll see how it goes I'm gonna hop over and he's done filming on the other boat real quick I'll show you that one I just wonder what our lights for you those are always cool you can actually see them in this water can't see them in Jacksonville too murky 2600 Mercs V12s with the fixed uppers, just the lowers turned down there, so those can articulate up to 35 degrees either way. Same basic setup. Skyhook lights, uh, engine flush. This one has a nice teak platform. And then again, same set T that can turn backwards, but this goes to a 13 foot beam. Move the swim door aft a little bit. Mechanical access, stuff, some storage on the floor here, and I think that's an insulated cooler box too, by the way it looks. And this one's nice because it has like this fixed galley on the back of the entertainment area, so you're kind of out of where people are hanging out, but you can still get things done, ready, stuff, storage underneath these seats over here. And then here's some specs on this guy. 1.2 million as equipped, 43 and a half overall, 13 foot beam, bunch of fuel, 
performance is good. Since cruise at 44 miles an hour, top speed at 54. Very good stuff. Here's your grill, sink. We have a fridge, storage, more fridge space. Got space for a cooler under there. Your AC controls for the galley. Again, it's basically the same helm, but now you have a double seat in the middle and then single seats on the outside. A little bit of different upholstery. The dash is pretty much identical. And then down, this is where this one really gets set apart from the 38. Got the forward berthing. TV, gotta have the TV. And then you have a midship. So small people like me or kids, bathroom about the same size still a wet head but you have a separate shower here which is really nice and the Ford area on the boat is pretty much identical we'll see if he's done filming on the 43 because that one's really impressive inside but if you guys have never made it down to Fort Lauderdale it's definitely worth the trip you get to see all kinds of cool stuff Things you might never see. And he's still filming over there. So I might be able to pause this for a second and then get over there before we gotta get back to the booth. Doing some spy work. While he is on the 30 or the 43 LS, look at this uh, 43 LE real quick. So I think the pricing's on the boat, but this one's 43 and a half. Overall 13 foot beam on this one as well. So big, heavy boats, really Good running boats too. Been on a 39 coupe and a 44 coupe a couple of times. But same idea on the set T. This one is just a little more open, I guess, in the back. And then the L E series is kind of express style cabin. A little bit more room inside the boat than outside where the sports are on the outside quite a bit. So on this one, uh Corian surface grill right here. Mechanical space. I can't tell you how these treatments on the boat are so pretty. The woods, these are all real mahogany. Again, I'm not gonna try to pronounce any of the names because I'm too dumb to remember. But a good area for entertaining, even up in the bridge deck. AC even with the aft uh, bulkhead closed, which is really cool because it's uh, like a fixed eyes and glass with a thicker mill on it to really insulate the area. So you can close it off in here, get it nice and cool. And then you have like a companion home over here, which I believe you can get another electronic over here. So you can almost have like a navigator, <laughs> if that's what you want to call it. But same setup in the helm, all the mercury stuff, joystick, skyhook, bokeh switches, twin 16 screens. And then you have the mercury vessel view, which basically is a sim route, I believe what they're using. And up in the top, you have some port lights, port holes, I'm sure someone's going to correct me. I'm saying it wrong. For birth. This is really nice. Kind of have your own space. And then midship. Ton of room back here. And of course, batteries aren't on. But it gives you an idea. Looks like somebody's been staying here too. And this, you get the separate shower stall which is kind of the same on the 44 over there. We'll take a look at that one. Should be done filming soon. Um, and then the LX is back there. That's the 34, I believe. That one's pretty cool. More of a day boat where these are almost weekend overnight boats. There you go. 1.3 on this guy. And then there's some of the features, options, highlights. That's taking forever. Come on, dude. Kill him. Alright. This one you have Trip 600 on the 48 LS. Huge side platform. Electrically actuated, and you still have a dive door on this side. Big swim platform. Nice aft settee. And these cushions lay down into a big sun pad. 
um, or they function as the backers, as you can see. And it's still storage underneath the seats. Got speakers everywhere. Flexi teak all over the floor. A lot nicer walk on the non skid. Actually cleans up really well too. More storage in the floor. I think that storage without opening it up. Because so I think all the batteries and stuff they keep aft. Then you have a fold up seat here in the galley. Another nice galley area. That's retractable. Yeah, that's retractable, so you can open that up. And you get your grill. And I think that might be like a, a warming box. And then you have fridges over here. Big galley, plenty of storage, grill, sink right here. And these walkways are amazing. Everything's one level, you don't have to worry about stubbing your toes. Again, double wide, mid seat, single seats, everybody has their own armrest, flip up bolsters. And then this one, you got the big 22 for the main. I don't know if you can see it because it's not on, but it's a huge screen. And then twin 16s next door. And then the interior of this one is just equally as impressive as almost the LX, but you don't even get a feel for how deep it is. It's three steps down. And then, I mean, I'm only 5'7", but man, I, I, I can't even touch the ceiling up here. So plenty of room for taller people. I believe they told me that this bed will sleep you know, people over six foot. And then this one actually has kind of a midship stateroom on it. Twin beds in there, doubles, whatever you call those things. And then again, like the LX, you have a nice bathroom with a stand-up shower. So hopefully we'll have a couple of these within the next year or so. As always, if you want any more information, we're getting new stuff every day. You can call Brad or Barton, 904-644-7631. Or you can always get us on the website at yamahamarinejax.com where we'll be updating our product offerings every day. New stuff, old stuff, pre-owned stuff, anything you need for boating. Hopefully you guys meet us down here at the show today, one day in the future. Call me.